Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use the Wix uh, SEO Wiz, which will help walk you through and give you some keyword ideas for what you can use on your website. Um, so I'm going to come over here to my sites area, make sure you log into Wix.com and then get to the page where you have the site here on your left hand side and you see these boxes of apps here. Look for the one that says get found on Google. Sometimes it's up here. Sometimes it's in the middle. I don't know what the how the order goes, but uh, just look for it. You'll see it. And when you roll over it, it'll say improve SEO. Click here. This is going to walk you through just kind of the general steps to get your site optimized for uh, being found. So what's the name of my business or site name? It's Picklewix Web Design. So there we go. It, it probably populated that already because I already have my site somewhat optimized. It also knows that I'm already in Colorado, but I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. Um, what are people searching for to find me? Let's say Denver website designer or Den I'm going to put in a couple of Denver web design. Uh, let's see what, what it says here. Um, I'm clicking on analyze my keywords. What it does is it's going to give me what people are actually searching for. Give me an idea of, other things that are related to my keywords I think I want to be found for and it gives me other ideas on what I could optimize it for. So right here, Denver website designer, well that's not very well searched, the keyword strength there, I think this just means how many people are looking for that each month. This isn't the best tool because it doesn't give you a whole lot of details. Um, it also doesn't give you a, a huge list of suggestions and show you everything that's been searched related to this. But it is a great starting point and gives you a better idea. Um, so here it shows that there's keyword strength is high on Denver web design. So that must mean that there's a lot more people searching for that than Denver website designer. So maybe I optimize my website for this or at least the home page. Um, kind of coming down here it gives me some other alternatives. So, uh, but you know, as you can see, some of these are pretty strong, others are not. Again. I use, um, I do a lot of SEO for my clients and I'm a web designer and uh, when I do it, I will research using a variety of different tools that are out there. One of them is called answerthepublic.com. That's a really fun tool to use. Uh, I will sh actually include a link here with a link to my website with lots of these tools uh, so you guys can have a little bit better things. But for an initial keyword research, this is great. Um, at least you have an idea of what the stronger words are and you can pick from these based on their strength. Um, and it's, I would say that's pretty accurate to what I've seen in the numbers. It, I have the actual numbers versus this. It just shows kind of a graph. So it's not extremely accurate or doesn't really give you that much information at all, really. But at least it's an idea of, oh, hey, Denver Web Design. A lot of people are searching for that. So I hit done here. And then once I have kind of entered in all my other things, I can also put in a lot of other things too, like uh, garden design or landscape design. Um, one, I wanted to show you a quick example for, let's say, landscaper, garden design, landscaping company. Let's see what people are actually searching for regarding this. So I just want to give you an, an example of where sometimes you might not want to use um, certain keywords because they might not be what people are searching for to find a company like yours. For example, garden design. People are searching for garden construction, botanical garden, planning design. These two, garden design, they could just actually be looking for ideas. Um, they might not be looking to hire a company per se. They could be, but there's more of a chance that you're going to find a company if you use something like landscaping company, which is very strong. Um, rock landscaping contractor, apparently a lot of people are searching for that. Up here, landscape company, that's best. Landscaper is strong as well. So this kind of gives you an idea, but maybe I was initially going to call it garden design. Well, now I nef definitely know that uh, that might be too general and it might not be getting me the traffic I need not to mention this is probably a very highly competitive keyword. Not not to say these aren't, but you know who who's to say you want to compete with a whole bunch of garden design magazines and idea shops and stuff. You want to compete with the people, or you want to find those searchers that are actually looking for companies to work with. So this gives you an idea of how to use this tool to get a better idea of like what people are searching and and maybe change your keywords a little bit. 
Um, but again, if you ever need more SEO, I can help with that. I also will put tips uh, in the link below. So let's go ahead. I'm going to take these out of here since that's not what I do. And I'll just put back in Denver Web Design. And then I'm going to go ahead and create an SEO plan. This will go through your site and check all the stuff that you have set up to make sure that your website is optimized correctly. So it's checking to see if your site is mobile friendly. Mine has a check because it is. Um, so that's always important with Google and, and other search engines now. The home page is set to be visible. Yes, it is. That's good. If it wasn't, this would take me, I could get to the area, uh, go to the editor and make sure that's turned on. And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, the home page's SEO title is ready. Yes, that's also going to be in the same area that we'll look at. The home page's SEO description is good. Yes, it's always good to have a description written. And again, I'll show you where that is. Uh, home page content is optimized. That means that you have have it there. Uh, now this one has a little thing that's just kind of weird. It says indexing your site. I'll submit an index request. I have actually done this, so I'm not sure why it doesn't think that this website is uh, submitted because it's I have uh, Google Analytics and so forth. But um, let's see what this what happens if we do this, huh? Oh, this is a little odd thing. If you see this on yours and your site's already been submitted to Google, which by the way, you should also do, I'll look at my tips at the bottom. It, there's instructions on where to do that and how to do that. Um, but for some reason, this one, it just doesn't think my site has been, um, which is odd because picklewix.com does actually quite well in the search engines. Uh, all right, next thing, contact info is there. Yes, uh, my homepage's social links are up to date, so nothing's broken there, that's good. Uh, it's always also good to check all of these. The homepage text hyperlinks are set up. Yeah, I have some text links in there. So those are always a good thing to use as well. So let's go ahead and go into one of these things. So I'm going to go to the editor just to show you quickly, because that's one thing I'm noticing the Wix whiz. It doesn't really show you where your next step is. It opens the editor, but then you're just left hanging. So the next step is to click on your page drop down here in the upper left. And then you'll see these little dots next to the pages. Click on that. And that's going to expand a menu that has page SEO as the fourth one down. Click on that. And this is the little tab that is essential for all your SEO optimizing. Name each of your page with something unique. Uh, let's go to the, let's go to, well, this, this one's not a good example because that's not an actual page, but, uh, but you want each of these on each page to have its unique title. So on my home page, I'm naming it with my top keywords because I'm a Wix website designer. I'm a Denver, Denver web designer. Um, I also write a nice description that introduces people. This is what shows up on Google. So here you'll see this is where the title of my page is. This is my URL and this is the description that shows up. So this is important to kind of tell people who you are and get them to click on you to learn more. Don't write this like with a whole bunch of keywords where it doesn't make sense. Write it as a sentence. Make sure it's very friendly and approachable and get people to, you know, click on you to, to learn more about your business. Um, the last part of this is your URL. This is also great. You can use keywords for this just to show you. Let's go to web design. Um, you'll see on my Denver, my web des design page, I have it titled Denver-website-design because that's a good keyword to be found for. Um, and I've called it Denver Web Design. Uh, and actually, maybe I should have named that Denver Web Design too, but it's also kind of good to have both because Google actually interchanges a lot of these words sometimes in the search results where it will display re search results for both Denver Web Design and Denver Website Design. <laughs> so... Uh, but just think about that when you're naming this. Again, you can also put in keywords, but these are just optional. Google and other search engines stop really using them because so many people over padded them and over abused them. Um, so I recommend putting one or two in here, but not a lot. Just put one or two key terms. Uh, not, you know, don't have a hundred words here. That's not good. <laughs> and then uh, when you're done with that, just hit done and publish just as you would with any other page. Um, so yeah, that's about all on the thing. I'm going to go back and remember Wix always works in tabs. Let's go back over to this uh, dashboard tab. But 
So I'm pretty much all done here. This shows me all my stuff and everything looks pretty good. Actually, there's more stuff. So I'm going to go through probably these and see what these are. And if I need to update stuff, then I can do that. Um, but again, it's not all of this. This isn't 100% accurate. Just use it as a guide, like getting indexed by Google. Let's just go to Google really quickly. And let's put in Wix website designer. Let's see what happens. Oh, there I am. So I am showing up here. Um, of course, I always search, or I'm, I, it knows that I like my website because I'm on it more often, and Google does show you things that you've searched for before or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's here and it does well. So it is indexed by Google. So f just to kind of say that, that this whole tool, take it with a grain of salt because it may or may not be 100% accurate to everything. Um, I'm going to submit this to Google and just ask them, hey, why does it say it's not submitted when it is? Maybe it just needs to go through that process in order for it to think that it went through the process. Um, but again, to find that, just get back over here to improve SEO, get found on Google in your dashboard, and definitely use that little keyword tool. Once you've gone through it, it'll just take you to this uh, general page. And it looks like it's having a little bit of issues right now, but uh, that's the web world for you. But if I click on settings here, I can get back to that little keyword tool, which I really love using this. There's also Google AdWords, AnswerThePublic.com, and lots of other tools. I'll, again, put a link at the bottom of this uh, video with more information on, on other tools you can use. But this is a great one to start with, for sure. And it's free from Wix. So enjoy.